Flavors on. One is for Flavors on 220 and the other is for two, uh, 640. Okay? So, uh, it's, it's not just a gimbal, it's a controller, video downlink, everything together. Fine. Uh, what I'm going to do today, it's pretty windy, uh, is attach it, attach these on top of the Mavic. This one here. And fly it and see how you know how everything works out so it's a gimbal stabilization 3-axis gimbal system both on on a Mavic so we haven't seen anybody done that yet no, I'm not sure if that, anybody done that <laughs> looks like nobody has done so we are first to try it out uh, okay so I'm gonna touch it on uh, top of the Mavic Mavic, but you can flip it right side up and you can mount it on a Phantom 4 Pro, uh, Inspire, or any drones that you have. So we did, we designed it so that it's a silver stock. You can move it from there to anywhere and you can hold it in your hand and go around. So three axis gimbal, stabilized system. All right. Thank you. So again, uh, you can see in my hand, hands, the usual uh, iPhone for viewing the Mavic camera, 4K daylight vision, and then the other monitor for viewing the uh, uh, thermal camera, the boson, and you can see the touchscreen controller attaches on top. Do you see anything? Um, okay, see it? Attach it on top of this. You can change a lot of things you know pan and tilt gimbal zoom digital zoom you know and then uh do color palettes recording you know i press the button and you can see recording okay so let's uh fly it uh you want to stay back here a little bit mm -hmm. ready take this guy off Alright, so the Mavic is flying through uh, Saturday. No, not really. You know, strong wind, so we struggle a little bit, of course, anytime. We have strong wind like this. But look at this. You know, I'm recording on the SD card on the or on the viewer boson touchscreen, the viewer touch standard for the boson on the Mavic. You can see, you know, uh, this is DJI Force is stable. Everyone knows that. But our gimbal system is super, super steady as well. Under the strong wind, come on, under Mavic, uh, three-axis gimbal. Uh, DJI has the software and hardware post-process stabilization in real time, so it's super smooth. But our system doesn't have that, it has only the gimbal. But you can see it's super smooth as well. You know? um, so, here we go. This is a, uh, you can see, this is actually a FLIR Boson 640, 14 millimeter, uh, 14 millimeter. So, it, everything is zoomed in. So you can compare the 4K footage video and the thermal video. You can see that, you see it pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, the car looks bigger. You know, while the cars here look smaller, that means the thermal videos with long lens, like everything zoomed in. But what I 
what I'm trying to say is with even with zoomed in lens like that you can still see the the, the footage the video is super stable under this strong wind so um, we have the 320 on the ground and this is a 640 so uh, I'm gonna show you a few things you know, changing color palettes as you can zoom through or you have this very intuitive screen I'm not sure if you can show that in the video you can see it uh, on the screen you, you can see it? you can see the touch screen okay you cannot oh man it's the sun. let's try it again do you see it? yeah now we're good? you see also the video? I see the video okay so you can see that it's very intuitive touch screen with all the button with for the uh, color palettes and then you can have the digital zoom as well you see even with zoomed in like this everything's still very stable the lens in an unzoom it's already like a zoom situation uh, and then uh, you can have a calf to access the DVR um, Oh, it's recording, so we're not. Uh, okay, let me start. Stop the video recording and then jump to the menu. And then, uh, okay, let's record again. So, see, uh, it has quite a few functions that you can intuitive, intuitively control. And, like I said, you know, even with zoomed in lens like this. <coughs> Everything is stable, perfect, you know. Okay, and uh, what I'm trying to say here also is that uh, with the with the high gain antenna here, um, even though the video downlink is in analog 5.8, you don't see it blinking that much. It's very steady, it's just like um, it's almost you know it's not as good, but almost like an HD All right, I think that's that's pretty much it, and uh, let's land. You know, flight time should be fifteen. You are at ten right now. Oh, let me... 